But of course, I had to do some makeup and fragrance shopping and sniffing. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria here. And as promised, yes, I am back with more ATL content. This time it is beauty and fragrance shopping focused because I had to try out some new things. I was curious and do some exploring. As always, lipstick of the day. We went with ABH's Ashton Liquid Lipstick. This is an oldie but goodie at this point but I'm glad it's still available. It'll be linked below as always, as well as everything that is on my face because I know y'all like to know. Fragrance of the day. I've talked about this one in my recent haul video, but I'm enjoying this. This is Mimo Paris Centra. This is Orange Blossom, Neroli, Pettigrain, and Marshmallow. Very fresh, very green, but very good. I'm enjoying this. So Mimo Paris Centra is your fragrance of the day. It'll be linked below as always. But yeah, you all, I enjoyed my shopping while in ATL. It was rushed because apparently Atlanta closes early now. Everything was closing at 8 p.m., which was like, what? I remember the days when Atlanta used to didn't sleep. But anywho, went over to Lenox area, which is like the main mall, the main touristy mall in Buckhead, and kind of rushed into Phipps, but they were already closed by the time we got there. So for all intents and purposes, this video is focused on my time and shopping and trying on in Bloomingdale's. So let's get into it. First things first in Bloomingdale's, I tried a makeup brand that I've been intrigued by you all. Never tried anything from this brand before, never purchased anything from this brand before. And I'm talking about Charlotte Tilbury. And I've been noticing it's been trending on social media and things, especially like on TikTok and whatnot. Elves, have you tried Charlotte Tilbury products, makeup? How do you feel about it? Let me know in the comments below, please. But yes, got my little brown bag and we're gonna get into what all we each found out. So the main reason I was biased to going into Bloomingdale's with my limited time was because I have friends as well as former co-workers that are in there. So yes, as you all know, I used to be a MAC makeup artist, but I still have maintained my relationships in the industry. I'm happy to see my friends slash former co-workers blossom and grow to go on and do big things in different cities. Love to see it. So anywho, one of my faves is now with Charlotte Tilbury and gave me a full breakdown run down of the brand very excited and most importantly i was able to get a foundation match y'all <laughs> so the foundation i wanted to try was the let me get it right this is the airbrush flawless longwear foundation i'll actually put a picture up of the foundation because it's one of those you've seen but if you're not versed with the brand like i am you won't know the names of it but i was able to get a sit down consultation with it again of course by one of my trusted friends and you all i got two shades because apparently their foundations run very yellow which is interesting. I do prefer a neutral undertone because that's what I am, but I can handle some yellowness. And I end up matching between either 10 neutral or 10 warm. So she was gracious enough to give me samples of both. So I will be playing in these and I will follow up and give y'all an update on which foundation shade I like more because I did try them on on my face because luckily I didn't have on any makeup at the time. So I was able to get a real life match. And then these two were the ones I was like, I'm digging those. So that again is the 10 neutral and the 10 warm. So I'm excited to play in my samples. And then in the meantime, to further explore the brand, my good girl Dom, yes, if you're there, please go and see Dominique in the Bloomingdale's for Charlotte Tilbury if you're in Atlanta. It was able to give me this lovely gift bag, which is nice to further explore the brand because y'all, I'm seriously a baby and a novice to this thing, right? So in here, let's see, what do we have from Charlotte Tilbury? Cause I love samples and being able to explore. So let's see, we have a Matte Revolution Luminous Modern Matte Long Lipstick. Check that out. I'll be playing it, you know what? Let's unbox it. Okay, I have seen this lipstick style in Sephora. So we have a cute little mini. Gonna twist that up. So yes, and I've seen she has a lot of lipsticks now. What's this called? Am I Kiss? Okay, so I'll be playing in this. It's kind of nice. So they have a lot of lipstick colors. I know they have that Pillow Talk shade that's like the It Girl shade for them. Els, have you tried their Pillow Talk lipstick? Let me know, do I need it? Is it everything? Talk to me in the comments below. I also got a Multi Miracle Glow Cleanser Mask and Balm. So this is giving cleansing balm vibes. So I'll definitely be playing in that. Then let's see here. We have some of their Full Fat Lashes Mascara. So I have a sample of that. We'll be going in my travel bag because I got some more things to do this year. I got a lot of trips and weddings coming up. I didn't even know they had all this skincare, you all, in Charlotte Tilbury. So we also got a sample of the Goddess Skin Clay Mask. This is 
supposed to lift, smooth, brighten, reduce the appearance of pores for baby soft skin. I mean, hello, we can always use more of that. So how we will be playing in this too. Let's see, anything else up in here? Yes, we got one last thing to play in. And this is their goddess cleansing ritual miracle spa in a jar duo. So I will be checking this out. Have y'all tried Charlotte Tilbury skincare? I, I'm serious, this is news to me because I did not know they had a skincare line. So that is what I picked up from Charlotte Tilbury. Very excited because all of this was gifted and yeah, we love a good gift. Now you all know me, when it comes to makeup, it isn't a makeup trip without me going about the matte counter because as stated at the beginning of the video, that's where I was made, that's my home base you all. So I had to slide by the MAC counter. In the meantime, while I was gone to Atlanta, this major event that takes over social media every year occurred and I'm talking about the Met Gala, you all. Yes, the Met Gala. It always gives us a whole bunch of looks, viral things, people talk about it, yays, nays, all that. But also in the midst of that, we also get viral makeup moments. And this year, the viral makeup item was a MAC lipstick. And I had saw it, it looks very pretty, and I've seen that it's very flattering on a lot of skin tones. So I said, hmm, let me just see if I can get it. And they had it. So at the MAC counter, of course, Iconic black bag. My bag is a little rough because again, it had survived the airport. <laughs> but yeah, so the lipstick that went viral at the Met Gala and it's all over TikTok, this is from MAC. It's the Luster Glass Lipstick, as you can see, and it's called Thanks It's MAC. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna unbox this. As you can see, it's a pinky nude type of color. Luster Glass formula is always kind of sheer and shiny for those people that like a little bit of color but with more shine and this is what it looks like as you can see a very universal flattering type of tone i'm excited to try this first time buying one of the new reformulated luster glass lipsticks but when i saw it, was it lala anthony she wore this lipstick and i was like okay her skin tone's kind of similar in the family she's like a little bit lighter to me but it was pretty on her so i said okay i'm gonna go ahead and get into the hype and i'm gonna get it so this is the the luster glass lipstick and thanks it's mac so i'll definitely will, of course will be linking that below too for those that might have been wondering about it and i will be wearing it in a future makeup look because y'all know i like to serve a lip on here so then I was also gifted a whole bunch of other samples for one of my good friends. You all, if you're in Mac and Bloomingdale's, please go and see Shaka. He's everything. <laughs> I love him, he's so extra and amazing, but he knows his makeup and I'm here for it. I was gifted, let's see here, we have the Magic Extension. This is a fiber mascara, so this is new from MAC. So a very nice size sample of it. I haven't tried a fiber mascara in years. I'm talking like 10 years. So I'm excited to see what this fiber mascara is going to do, particularly from MAC, because I tried it, was, I think it was L'Oreal back in the day. So I will be trying that one out and I'll let y'all know how I feel about it. Also got a sample of the new Hyper Real Skin Canvas Balm. Check this out. This is supposed to be a moisturizing cream. Apparently MAC is going in more of a skincare direction lately because skincare is having a moment. <laughs> Let me know what you think. How do y'all feel about this? About all the makeup brands going into the skincare realm lately. I, I don't know how I feel. I, I'm team color and makeup, period. Then we also got, let's see here, a MAC Hyper Real. This is their serum, so I'm intrigued to test this out too. We'll see what that does. And then, oh, this was really nice. This is the new style of MAC Fix Plus. This is the Magic Radiance, you all. So we have Fix Plus All Day Hydrating Spray. It has vitamin C in it which I had seen this one. It looks pretty on the display, so I will be testing this one out because I use MAC Fix Plus on every single makeup look that I do. It is a holy grail. I cannot be without it. I keep backups of it on deck in my kit. So the fact that I have a new one with some vitamin C in it, I'm very, very intrigued by that. So, And if I didn't get a full bottle of it, I will tell y'all. Now the last thing I got from MAC that I'm most excited about, this is something that we asked for for years and years and years, and MAC finally listened, and they finally gave the girls what they want. So this right here is a sample of the MAC Fix Plus Stay Over. This is their long-lasting setting spray. Y'all do not understand 
how many times I used to have to argue people down. I used to come to counter like, oh, Fix Plus is a setting spray. No, it's not. It is a refreshing spray. It helps to make up to oxidize, but it's not a setting spray. Now MAC has an official setting spray. So I am way excited, head over heels over this one. We'll be playing with it because normally I use my Milk Hydro Grip, the setting spray. I use the primer too. That's what I use to hold my makeup on as you see presently. That's what I normally wear, but I will be testing out the MAC one too. You know, see what it's giving. And that is all that I got at MAC. And now we're at the end portion, the portion that I know you all really care about, and that is fragrance, because I teased that I did smell and discover, play in a very hot fragrance right now, and we're about to get into it in the fragrance portion of this video. <laughs> first things first, you all, I was testing over at the Parfums de Marley counter. I finally tested and played in the Delina Dry body oil which i'll put pictures up of that so you know what that means what that looks like there's their oil i know a lot of people talk about the body cream i didn't really touch the cream but i wanted to try the oil and i was told by my associates and things it was like not oil is like better tried it on skin i enjoyed it and it definitely smells like delina i didn't have to look for it i didn't have to put my nose all the way up on it to smell it the oil is very fragrant so it surprised me. I actually think I want a bottle of that. So very pleased with trying out the body care line from Parfums de Mali. So I was impressed by that dry oil. So then you all, Head Elf was with me, of course, and he has been very intrigued with the house of Byredo. So he was like, oh, they have a Byredo counter. Let's go over there to the Byredo counter. I'm like, okay, fine. I don't own any Byredo. I have sampled Byredo, but I don't own any. So I was like, okay, you know what? Let's revisit the line. I mean, why not? Our noses change, opinions change, that type of thing. So you all, the fragrance that I've had a love-hate relationship with is Mojave Ghost. <sighs> I enjoy the smell, but I just know it ain't gonna last. And that's the complex I have because like, I actually literally like it. I love how it smells. I've had samples of it. I'm like, oh, this is so nice. This is so pleasant. And it's one of their best sellers, but I just know I'm like, this isn't gonna last. And I'm gonna be mad at it. I'm gonna have to bathe in it. And I'm gonna use up the bottle quick. So that is my conundrum with the Mojave Ghost. Els, let me know what you think. Do you like Byredo fragrances? Let me know in the comments below, but yeah. I don't know, we'll see. If I can catch a Byredo Mojave Ghost on a very, very good deal, then I would do it. But at full strength, absolutely not. I can't do it. Speaking of bestsellers, I also was instructed to revisit the Bald Eye Freak fragrance from the Byredo sales associate, Calvin, who was amazing. Shout out to Calvin at the Byredo counter. And he was like, no, definitely smell Bald Eye Freak again. He said, it is really, really good. And you all, you know what? I remember smelling it two years ago, but I was like, ah, it's all right, it's okay. I re-smelled it, y'all. I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> Let me tell you, it had me contemplating like, do I need a bottle of Bald Air Freak? Don't get me wrong, I know it sells out and it is a bestseller consistently and I get why a lot of people like it now. First I was like, it's okay, but now I get it. And a positive note is Calvin saw my face light up about it. He was like, you know, I'm gonna make you a sample of it so you can really decide if you want or not. So I have a nice size sample of Bald Africa. I kind of dropped it there. <laughs> so I will be playing in this and I will be following up and giving y'all an update on how I feel about it. Do I love it or not? So we'll talk about that. Then while we were also about at Byredo, we smelled black saffron. Head Elf was liking it, but he was like, I don't know. He said, this kind of leans a little feminine for me. I think it smells amazing and be very sexy on a man. But he was like, I like it, but I don't know. So it was like, okay, we're not gonna do that one. <laughs> but I did enjoy black saffron. I personally prefer it more so on a man, but it's definitely a unisex scent because it's right there in the middle and it can definitely go either way. So I did enjoy the black saffron, but the one that stole the head of Elf's heart, which I was really shocked because it's different from what he normally likes, was the tobacco mandarin one. You all, that smells so good on him. It's interesting because you get the tobacco-ness, but then you also get that fruitiness from the mandarin some kind of way it works and it's so masculine but it's like modern at the same time it's amazing he has samples of it he's been wearing it and i like love it on him most importantly he keeps smelling himself when he wears it so i'm like yeah he likes that one he likes that one so tobacco mandarin for the men yes it's a yes for me <laughs> and then finally you all i made my way over to the amouage counter because amouage is a house that i don't own anything from i've sampled one fragrance from it and i did love it but i don't own a full bottle but most importantly while if you've been living under rock then you haven't heard about this but if you've just been living your life in the general fragrance community then i know you've seen this fragrance the infamous now the very hyped 
Homage Guidance. That is a 2023 release. They definitely had it on display and they had it in stock, which was nice. You know, just in case, you know, somebody falls in love with it and want to buy it on site. They actually had it. So I was able to smell it. I'm a so she was very, very nice. And they definitely emphasize you need to smell it on your skin. So I did smell it on paper, which I do have right here. And they was like, no, spray it on skin. So luckily I had cleaned off like my hands and stuff. I didn't have any perfume, any fragrance, anything. And I was able to spray it on my skin, right? Sprayed it on the skin, walked around, lived my life. And to be fair, I was very happy about this, you all. I did get an official sample of my Amouage Guidance. And in addition to me just walking around and wearing it in the moment, I have been wearing this for two whole days straight. As you can see, I have been using this sample and I'm ready to talk about it. The opening of this fragrance, I'm gonna spray a little bit on here just to refresh my nose. It has a very, it has a spicy woody opening, right? Very spicy woody type of opening. And that took me kind of aback. I was like, interesting, hmm. Cause to be fair, I was prepared to fall in love with this scent and I thought it was gonna be a love at first sniff, but it wasn't. It was not a first love at first sniff. This is definitely a scent you gotta wear. You gotta give it some time to dry down. And I'm explaining what I mean. So this is one, it needs an hour to dry down, straight up. And like I said, I'm just refreshing my nose right now for the sake of the video, but I've been wearing this on my body and that's where my real take of this fragrance is. This is one, yeah, you gotta let it dry down for an hour and as it dries down, that's when I began to be like, oh, I like this. I really, really like this, right? Speaking of which, I'm gonna read the notes of Amouage Guidance so you all can understand what we're supposed to get. So we have top notes of pear, frankincense, and hazelnut. Absolutely get the frankincense for sure. That's what was like, taking me aback there for a minute. You get heart notes of saffron, rose, jasmine, sandback, and osmanthus, okay. And then the base notes are cedars, sandalwood, acacalia wood, ambergris, and vanilla. So you have to get past that opening in my opinion, which I can see that opening being a lot for a lot of people and being like, ooh, I don't know about this. So that's why I get why this scent has been kind of polarizing for some people. But most importantly, it's the dry down of this scent. And as it dried down, you get more of that saffron, the sandalwood and all those other notes. But then it hit me on skin. I was like, oh my goodness, I love this, I love this. But something in me was like, wait a minute. I love this because I know this. And I'm gonna tell you what it was. It hit me, I said, cause it started to smell more fruitier. The pear and all that supposed was coming through. It really smelled kind of peachy to me. But as it dries down, you all, it smells like this right here. It smells like Parfums de Molly Casilli, which I'm gonna refresh my nose with Casilli. And y'all know, I love Casilli. That's why I was like, I gotta get a full bottle of it. Hitch, you see a full bottle of it, right? And that's what it is about guidance. Guidance represents a more woodier take, that incense -y vibe. It, it's more of that from what Casilli is, in my opinion. Because this is a little bit more fruitier, in my opinion, but the dry downs of these are so similar, in my opinion. Mm. The Amouage one is more complex and takes you on more of a journey. So if you're a person that likes your fragrance to do more of a changing effect, you want more of a act two vibe going on with it, then you will love the Guidance one. But to me, I personally was just waiting on the dry down each time I wore this fragrance. And I was like, well, the dry down is Casilli. And I already would have a full bottle of Casilli. Yeah, so to, for me, I'm not in love with Amouage Guidance enough to be purchasing it right now, but I did figure out what I do like about it. And it's that frankincense note, in my opinion, that hazelnut vibe. To me, Amouage Guidance is better suited for fall. And that's the reason why I was like, ooh, I don't know about this opening right now because it's May when I'm filming this, it's 80 degrees. And I'm like, ooh, that's a lot going on right now. But when it gets cooler again, I might change my mind and be like, ooh, I actually wanna get a bottle of it. But right now, I'm just waiting on a dry down and the dry down to me is this, Casilli. So that is my thoughts on it. Definitely smell this fragrance first. Do not blind by it, y'all. It is $360. I know it's hyped up. I know everybody's excited about it, but please sample it for yourself like I did. Please get you a sample, try it on skin. Because yes, it is good, but especially if you have Casilli, please try them next to each other because I'm telling y'all, I was literally sitting at dinner with the head up and I kept sniffing my hand. I was like, I know this scent, I know this scent, and it's Casilli. So that is my thoughts on Amouage Guidance. Now y'all know how I feel about it. It's cute, but it's not love at first sniff. It's not run out and buy it in my opinion. It's just not. 
So that is my thoughts. That's all my makeup shopping. That is all my fragrance sniffing and smelling. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And yeah, I will be doing some more because we are heading into spring, going into summer very, very shortly. So that means the more fragrances and things will be coming out. I can't wait, but it's always good to just stroll through the mall and just see what's out there, you know? Just test and play with things, not necessarily blind by. So until next time else, I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye y'all. <laughs>